Record cases of coronavirus across Rhode Island in the past week, including 919 newly confirmed cases reported yesterday alone. Governor and Department of Health will address that this afternoon at their weekly briefing at 1 o'clock. They're also going to likely address how the spread is causing several schools to finish out this week, at least, remotely. And 12 News reporter Kate Walsh is joining us live with why these decisions have been made. Well, schools were, of course, off Wednesday for Veterans Day. And last night, one district, Cumberland, sent out a letter district-wide to all the families and also to us saying that the high school would be remote for the rest of the week. In that letter, the superintendent, Robert Mitchell, said, quote, since we still have not received guidance from the Rhode Island Department of Health on several other cases, we feel it is necessary to complete this week with distance learning out of an abundance of caution. Now, Cumberland isn't the only district to go remote for the high school, at least, for the rest of this week. In fact, in Cranston, a spokesperson there said they've had to go remote remote for the rest of the week district wide. There are too many staff members out right now and it's impacting schools everywhere there. Cranston is working on contact tracing and hopes to have a better handle on it all by next week. Coventry closed the high school for the rest of this week after five students tested positive in five days. The superintendent there said that could lead potentially to 150 people being considered close contacts. So they're just playing it safe. 30 staff members in that district were told are out in quarantine or have symptoms similar to COVID or are considered close contacts. And West Warwick High School will also be closed for the rest of this week. Move the high school this coming Thursday and Friday to full distance learning days. Cross connection of a lot of these cases that's made it too, too broad for our comfort at this point. And when we're talking about closed, we're talking about the building itself. Of course, students will be still learning and teachers will still be teaching, but it will be remote for the rest of this week. Now, Governor Raimondo and the Department of Health are expected to talk about this topic at their briefing. The weekly briefing is usually Wednesdays, but it's today, this afternoon at 1 o'clock. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.